sites right we can able to see this uh, that with the web ui right so in that one name node is available in the 50070 port number data nodes are available in 50075 port number and if you're running a job tracker job tracker is available on 50030 and task tracker is available on 50060 okay and if you are having secondary name node is available on 50090 right so if you are using Hadoop uh, with the yarn right so then uh, oh. the yarn ports are okay so what are what we have in the yarn yarn so we have a resource manager is available right in yarn right so resource manager uh, which is running on the master node that's a name node uh, and the job tracker node wherever you have configured so in that one so we use the port 8088 right so uh, we use port uh, 8088 so to connect to the web ui for the resource manager and now the same node manager uh, which is like a task tracker which is available on 50060 right so which runs on all the slaves resource manager which runs on all the masters okay okay, okay madhu so these are the different ports are available now running a job right so now we'll see the two things suppose running a job so running a job means you're running a job on hadoop or you're running a job in yarn so both the things are available suppose before 2.0 we can able to run the job in uh, map reduce but in after 2.0 we can able to run the job either with a job tracker or we can able to run the job with a yarn suppose if you have started the yarn hadoop uh, without the job tracker right uh, and we have and we have started the yarn to run uh, right to run the jobs that is uh, yesterday I told that right, starting a cluster right starting a cluster means either you have to start the SDFS and then you have to start the map reduce so when you start the SDFS then the SDFS is started that is uh, all the data nodes name nodes right data nodes name nodes secondary name nodes so those are going to be started after that now decide which one you want to go with it's so you want to go with the map reduce or you want to go with a yarn so now uh, if you want to go with the map reduce then we have to start the map reduce uh, scripts to start the map reduce otherwise if you want to use the yarn to run your jobs then we can use the yarn script to start the yarn so it's up to you that's uh, which in job you want to run in the map reduce environment or you want to run the yarn environment so if you want if you run this job on the map reduce environment now we can able to see the job status on 50030 and 50060 suppose if you run the job on yarn then we can able to see the job application statistics in a zero double eight generally suppose in uh, if it is hadoop 2. Point, before 2.0 before 2.0 we call it as a job right in the Hadoop yarn we call it as an application so the the, uh, the job submitted by the user is considered as an application and see in the Hadoop before 2.0 every job is having job ID in Hadoop after 2.0 every job is having application ID so now we consider uh, in the form of application so how many applications are running in the yarn cluster right so what are those applications what are the right that we can able to see in the yarn ui web ui right so now what you should know so whether you want to run the job in a map reduce or whether you want to run the job in yarn so you have to start the map reduce if you want to run the job on map reduce if you want to run the job on the yarn then you have to start the sdfs after then you have to start the yarn so that so we have a resource manager and node manager is available whenever you run the job the job is taken by the resource manager processed through the application master and the job is executed the node manager and the output will be given back to the user so this is how the job is processing done in a yarn environment right so so this is uh, what we you have to remember this configuration script uh, web ui numbers right uh, we'll see now right so I'm 
see here uh, starting a cluster means we have to start SDFS and we have to start the map reduce generally see these are the scripts uh, let's see Hi, Nageshwar. Right now, name node is started. See, uh, taking terminal. So, if you run the command JPS, right now in my machine, name node is running, secondary name node is running, data node is running. Right now, we can see the name node information on 50070. Right, so this is the uh, information about the name node. And if you connect to the 50075, right, it is a data node right i told this one yesterday so we cannot able to see the data directly in the data nodes we have to connect to the data nodes through the name node so in the navigate to the name node in the name node we have an option browse the file system so click this browse the file system to connect to the data nodes right and uh, do we have the job tracker is running now no so can we able to connect to the job tracker no see now job tracker is running on the 50030 so there is no job tracker is available and uh, task tracker is running on 50760 there is no task tracker is available and we have second name node is running that is 50090 right second name node is running in this machine okay so generally what we did now i've started the sdfs in the cluster so that i can able to create uh, the files and folders in SDFS, but I cannot able to run a job. If you want to run a job, then we have to start either Ajay. job track. Ajay. Ajay, uh, sorry, uh, this is Venkat. Eh? Uh, do we need to do manually for all the um, things or every, because suppose if we no, run no. the GPS command, Yes, yes, Nageshwar. See here, I'll tell you one thing. Generally, we don't start and stop the clusters, so these are scheduled to be run. So in the previous, uh, see, I got an error, right? So when I've started the SDFS, so in the previous yeah. run, see, uh, I have start when I actually I wrote a script to start the SDFS, but see, only data nodes and secondary name node is started. Name node is not started, right? So then what I did, then yeah. again manually I have started the name node. Okay. okay. So but generally. Generally, the thing is what we the cluster is started and running, but we can expect the failure of the name node. Then we have to start the name node manually. Suppose if your data nodes are goes down, then we have to start the manually. We have to start the data nodes, right? Like that will work, right? Uh, but okay. the thing is what basically they are started and running. Like see now in the previous run, I got an error. Only the DFS uh, name node is not started. Right. Uh, so then what yeah. I did, I have started manually the name node. 
so that right now the name node is mm. running so these are the situations where we'll start the name nodes and data nodes and the uh, map reducer yeah but basically if you are using hadoop from the cloud era by default these are going these are started and running okay we won't yeah. do that so server not stop and start actually right we won't start and stop i'll show you that one after it's available in another uh, vm wait i'll show you that one so this is without gui so there is no cloud era manager is available here yeah. hmm. you are using apache now I'm using Hadoop from the CDH without UI, without GUI. Means which distribution is this? It's a cloud era one. So you can run the command Hadoop space version. So this is to demonstrate this. I've configured this environment because I cannot able to show you all these things in the cloud era practically. Okay. No, if if we have cloud era, everything starts soon automatically, right? This is manually configured by me, Madhu. Okay. Right. Uh, to uh, to uh, to teach these things, I have configured like this way. Right. These are these are all my own configuration, so that I can able to teach you how to start the resource manager, how to start the node manager, so that I am using this environment. Okay. Uh, uh, Ajay, one more question. Like, I mean, uh, suppose after uh, training, so do we do this kind of stuff? Uh, uh in this or uh, do we need to use the existing tools how can we do that yeah it's it's up to you right so generally uh, what you have to do is uh, right now see tomorrow i'll give a mail to configure hadoop in your machine right generally how to uh, right so to work with uh, the same what we are discussing you can practice now suppose if you want to manually configure hadoop cluster with a three node four node if you want to do that you can able to do that right even mm -hmm. no need to wait till no. end of the session right now you can just uh, I'll, I'll forward the link today evening so just uh, get mm -hmm. the files downloaded today and configure hadoop in your machine tomorrow then simultaneously mm -hmm. i'm speaking here you can work in your laptop the same thing will work together oh, so okay. you'll have a hands on too okay. so i got in a different way so that's why i asked no no right so i'll give the environments i have the different uh, hadoops are running in my machine Right, I'm, I'm having all the Hadoops. Right, I sometimes I use a VMware, uh, VM Workstation, and VirtualBox. Both uh, Hadoop is available. Uh, all the versions of Hadoop with the uh, 0.18 is available with me. 2.00 and HortonWorks, Cloudera, Mapper. Right, so I can see based upon the topic uh, which I'm choosing, I'll I'll choose the what is the best environment for you to give the demonstration. So I'll use that one. Mm. Right, because okay. here I can able to show you manually, right? How to start the jobs, okay? Yeah. These are all initial sections. Once we yes. get the hands-on, so I think. Right. Uh, yes, you'll get the uh, right. Actually, you can able to do yourself all these things. These are all the small commands, but the thing is, the yeah. environment is uh, it's new and the terminal is a little bit new for you. So maybe uh, it seems a little bit uh, difficult, but uh, see, it's uh, these things are very easy. Yeah, for me it's new. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, it takes some time and, and you have a flexibility and actually uh, if you again uh, if you're if you the second that me stop right so it's mostly a uh, high follows similar like MySQL right so these are the uh, tables which are available now if you want to see uh, I have uh, I have cracked some Gmail passwords so uh, in the hive then I'm having that select select star from Gmail uh, password Right, so if I'll take uh, some limit hundred because I don't want to display a lot all the records. Right, some passwords are available. Right, this is how Hive query. Correct. Now the same query I wrote in Hive. Right, some I wrote a Hive statement. Now I want to run a job. Running a job means what? Running a map to job. Running a yarn job, right? Now, see, this is not a map to job. Map to job involves counting, cartesian product, shuffling. So where we require a map reduce. Now, if I'm running select count of start, right? I want to count the total number of records in this table. Select count of start from Gmail uh, PWD. This is a job I'm going to run now. Press enter. Right now, I cannot able to run this job because there is no job tracker is available. See, five double zero three zero is for the job tracker. 
right job tracker is running no no right can we able to run this job no right it's thrown the error right execution error return code one from uh, org dot apache dot execute map reduce task right so there is no job tracker is running so there is either you need to have a job tracker or you need to have a yarn to run these jobs okay so now what we'll do we'll start this yarn okay uh, Now observe here. I'm going to the location where I'm having the scripts available. So it's a CD. I'm going to the training. Right uh, in that one, I have a subdirectory. LS. That's a CD. CDH4. In that one, I have a directory. LS. The directory. This is the directory. Hadoop 2.0. So I'm going to Hadoop 2.0 LS right here. I'm having the Hadoop configuration files, right? We'll see this configuration files later. Now I'm going to the CD bin LS. Right now see here. I am having scripts, right? Uh, one is a Hadoop and the one is a SDFS and then it's a map reduce and we have available YAR. So if you run the map rate is command just write this command map rate press enter now So these are the commands which are available with the map reduce and if you write yarn Now see we have yarn resource manager is available yarn node manager is available right now. I am running the yarn space resource manager Space start right now. I'm starting the yarn so that first I am starting the resource manager. So I wrote yarn space resource manager space start press enter. Right now it will start the resource manager in the cluster. Now we can see a zero double eight. Right the cluster is started. So it's a a zero double eight. Okay, I'll take another terminal now. Okay, CD bin LS. Now I'll start the node manager, right? Yarn space node manager space start. Right now I'll start the node manager. So now both the uh, Resource manager and node manager is running in the machine. Right? See now. In the next JPS run, now I can able to see the resource manager and I can able to see the node manager. Right now, resource manager is running, node manager is running. Now I can able to run the job. Right? So if is there any job is running right now? No, correct. So now I'm going to the hive terminal. Now I'm running this command again select account of start from the Gmail password press enter now this job is taken by the job tracker right and it job tracker is assigned an application ID so this is an application ID now we come back to the uh, cluster see this is the application okay so this is the job submitted by us select account to start from Gmail password now this job is running on this cluster okay so the job is taken by the application master right now uh, see what is saying that uh, uh, Firefox can't establish this application master because it's not started and running see Right do we have any job history service running to maintain the history of the job? No, right? So I'm taking on the terminal to sh check the statistics of the job Okay, so I'm going to see the training Right in this one CDH4 Hadoop is there press enter LS go to the CD bin LS suppose if you write map rate 
so we have a command is available that is history server right so this server will maintain the job history so now I am starting this map rate space history server start now I have started the job history server so that I can able to see the job history right now click on the history right now the job history is available right now we check with the JPS right so job history server is running right so these are all the complete set of Hadoop diamonds will run in a cluster now both the SDFS and yarn is running okay so you can see this job right so this is job status right we'll see what is map and what is reduce what are these counters configurations we'll see all those things in the coming sessions right as of now so what is the today session now we can see uh, the 50070 now 50075 so do we have 50030 job tracker is running in this machine job tracker no no job tracker is running right so 50060 no task tracker is running 50090 right second in m node is running after that uh, to see the cluster statistics it is available at 8088 right now job history server is running on the port number 19388 right see it's a 19388 and this is the job okay okay node manager is stopped okay then I'll stop the history server that's the same thing map rate so we'll have map rate history server Okay, now exit, exit. Now run the command JPS. Okay, right, yarn is stopped. Now, to stop this one, I have a CD training in the scripts. So, I have a script stop iPhone cdh.sh. Okay, now uh, exit. I'm shutting down this.
Okay, now I'm using the new version of the Cloud Adam. So where uh, GUI is available, which is configured with the hue. Right here, the operating system is CentOS, and the previous one we have you have choose we have used Ubuntu. Okay, uh, now see here. Here I'm having Cloudera Manager. Okay, so just click this Cloudera Manager. Which version is this? Uh, it, it's uh, I'm using CDH. Uh, it's a 4.4.0. The recent one, the latest one is 5.4.0. Speed up your internet server, server, service. Sirene? Like, do we need to have uh, okay high speed internet? No, no, no need to have. We are you see these are all connected to the local host. No internet is required to work with Hadoop. Okay, we can directly work without internet as well. Internet. Right? Yeah. So it is a configured and that I'm going to teach you in uh, tomorrow session, right? How to configure all these things. Uh, what are the different Hadoops are available? How to configure and what are the different ways? What is a fully distributed mode? What is a PC distributed mode? I'll teach you, right? So here the username is a cloud era and a password is cloud era. Okay, login. Now see Nageshwar and Madhu observe here. Yeah. So previously what we did we wrote command start DFS start map reduce right who who will do all those things now So this is a cloud era manager Raju observe see now here. We have SDFS is available correct now to stop the SDFS now is see here in what is SDFS secondary name node name node and the data node is running right here We have an actions now if you want to stop SDFS click on the stop now SDFS is stop Okay, right. So click see SDFS. Now we can see the status, right? Data node is running. It's a good health. Name node is running. The good health. Secondary name node, right? So if you have any issues with this name node, then we can see it's not in a good health. Okay. okay. So that after that, now we'll stop it. I'll go for the restart. So if you want to go for the maintenance mode, so this maintenance mode I'll teach you in the DFS admin section. Right, so what is a maintenance mode? How to balance the cluster? That's we have in chapter 3. Okay, now which simply we will go with here to stop and stop. Right, now suppose if you want to start the yarn, so by default we are having 500.30. Right, job tracker is running and 500.70. Sorry, 500.60. Task tracker is running. Right, just try to remember these port numbers. Okay, so it's a common in a maximum everybody will use the same port numbers. Right, 500.70 name node, 500.75 data node, 500.30 job tracker, task tracker 500.60, and secondary name node 500.90. If you are using yarn, yarn is available and 8088. And remember, uh, name node port number 80. Zero. Okay, please try to remember these numbers, these port numbers. Okay, so name node runs on port number 8020. Right, so now we have the job tracker is available and we have the 
task tracker is available but do we have 8088 is available cluster cluster is available yarn is available no correct so now to start yarn what we have to do so we have yarn is available where here yarn is uh, what is the status of the yarn stopped correct yarn is not running that is job history server node manager resource manager these are not running in this machine right now we can select the option start then it will start the yarn in the cluster it will start the now sure. node manager history server resource manager uh, Ajay, uh, one question uh, this is GUI based and we already done in the uh, command prompt based yes so which one is the useful in uh, uh, it's, uh, up it's up to it's up to, I mean, uh, it's up uh, to you oh, Nagesh based upon see how you want okay. to, see I'm I'm flexible in the command mode I never really done uh, this okay. GUI now see if, okay. if I, what okay. I will do now to start the resource manager so I, I'll simply type this one yarn space resource manager see if you press yarn now it's available right I'll write yarn space resource manager space I'll write I'll click the button start right suppose I'm flexible using mm -hmm. this right we also uh, that's okay. the thing suppose if you want to go with this one it's available you can go for this one too so there is no difference because only flexibility that's it yes if it is available mm -hmm. GUI right then mm -hmm. you can go through that one if the GUI is not available then we have to run the commands mm -hmm. but this terminal is okay. available all the time everybody will have this terminal maybe uh, mm -hmm. a client may be having a hue or not but this actually this this is available right the main process is to start the yarn yarn space resource manager is yarn space resource manager space start actually process this one so if the geo is available we can able to do that without geo available so finally again we come back to the terminal to work with that one Okay. <coughs> okay, so this is uh, starting and stopping the Hadoop.